Welcome into the 541 Fisherman YouTube channel, everybody. On today's quick little episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys a low clear water setup for salmon fishing. Now, this setup is super simple and any single one of you guys that is watching this video can do this. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So starting off with our rod and reel, I like to use this Okuma Cascade Pro. This is my 10.6, 15 to 40 pound rod. I then have my Dial Alexa with the power handle and I'm running 40 pound Power Pro line on this bad boy here. So jumping up to the setup, it is gonna be so simple. So you guys can see here, we have a bobber stop, we have the bead, a glow in the dark corky so when you're fishing in the morning, you can see if you choose to uh, fish right at first light. I'm using a clear drift bobber. Now the purpose of a clear drift bobber is kind of as explained. It's clear and uh, yeah, <laughs> clear is just the main word of it there. Uh, basically, you know, if I don't really know how to explain this, but if you look through the bottom of that float, and I don't really know how well the video can see this, the inside of that's white, right? And the fish can't see that at all. If you look up, it just looks white, like the sky. You know, there's a cloud or whatever, so they can't tell the dang bit of difference. Okay, then we have a little bead, our weight, and I always recommend when you're fishing low clear water, throw a little bit heavier weight than what the bobber recommends. So this is a 7 8 ounce clear drift float with a 1 ounce inline lead. Down on to our leader, um, with fall salmon, I don't think they're really line shy, but I am using a longer leader here, and you guys can see. I mean, that's pretty long. That's probably close to 30 inches. Of 30 pound STS fluorocarbon, that's Seaguar STS, so I believe it's salmon trout steelhead. Then I am running on here a uh, two hook setup there, if you guys can see that. And the top one is a four aught, and the bottom is a two aught. And make sure that if you guys choose to do this, you check your local rules and regulations to make sure that you are allowed to use two hooks. Obviously, if you can't, uh, just using like, you know, a single hook set up there like that would be the way to do it. So, pretty simple setup there. Uh, Hayden and I are actually out the river right now. We are doing a little bit of salmon fishing. So maybe we can catch a fish and show you guys the setup in action. But obviously, uh, you guys can go check out some of the other videos on the channel of us doing float fishing. Uh, we have setups like this in a lot of our bobber fishing for salmon videos that we do. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next video. All right, everybody. So here is a little clip of a fish that Ada caught a few days ago. This is on the exact setup that I actually showed you guys. And you can see that she's using the same rod and everything. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little clip. <gasps> set, the, set the hook. Set the hook. You got him? Yeah. Reel him in. Record, I am. Oh gosh, she's going right in the thing. In the what? In the bushes. <laughs> How do you fight? Yep, just now reel down. Gentle. Don't pull too hard on him. Ada got a fish. I'm gonna record on the big camera. Oh, yeah, I told you. I was like, set the hook. <laughs> I thought it was just because I was mending my rod. No, it went under. He grabbed it. Yeah, keep the rod tip up. I wish I could. I can't really see. But baby, what just happened? Uh, look at the look at the camera. Look at the camera. Talk to us. And then it just freaking flew. So yeah, now. Ada's got a Chinook on. Yep, don't let your line go slack. Yep, make sure you reel them in. Keep them tight. Ooh, it's a cromer. It's a cromer fish. It's a nice salmon. <laughs> oh, keep him tight. Keep him tight. I don't want him to pull too hard. He won't pull too hard. It's not a super, super huge one, but it is a nice fish. Oh, okay, reel him over here. Turn the rod to like towards me. I want to net him on this side of the boat here. Going or, this yeah, it doesn't matter. Just... Here you come. Get him, get him. I am. I'm right here. Oh. It's a nice fish. It it's a chromer. Well, yeah. Yeah. Just pull him up. Gentle, though. Let him run. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, we got one. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yep, and then like lift your rod. Okay, yep, look towards me. Yep, yeah, a nice fish. Nice to look. Again, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and you learned something on how to catch salmon in low clear water. Till next time, see you guys later. Thank you for watching.